Hello. Last weekend was the start of the Muslim festival of Hajj. This is the pilgrimage that is undertaken to Mecca and the surrounding towns in Saudi Arabia. Hajj is one of the five pillars of Islam. It's obligatory for Muslims to do this once in their life, for those who are well enough and who can afford to perform it. Muslims see it as a test of many things. One of the hardest is how does the Muslim react and cope with the actions of others? Imagine the experience of being in a place that you may never get to visit again, i.e. Mecca. Imagine the determination that a Muslim has to desire to get the best experience, to achieve a spiritual high and to attain being the closest they have ever been to God. Muslims believe that all sins are wiped clean if Hajj is performed correctly. Now, theoretically, it sounds amazing, but you then need to appreciate the reality that more than two million people are all there, together, in the same place, all wanting the same thing for themselves too. In her book, Once in a Lifetime, Professor Amina Mudud writes, all of the next few days had to be completed in concert with millions of people and still remain intensely personal. For many Muslims, this sums up what Hajj is all about. It is both a communal experience and an individual one. Through the rituals of Hajj, Muslims consider the life of Abraham and Hagar. They consider the themes in their story of optimism, reliance on God and patience, and all of this in the hecticness of Hatch. Often, we can get so caught up in the busyness and noise of our lives that we don't fully take in the moment, or we can feel disturbed if things are not quiet. This is clearly very true for those of us working here at Archbishop Holgate's, where the pace of the day can be quite frantic and there is never a moment of quiet. However, even in the busiest and most hectic times in our lives, it is possible to experience special and peaceful moments, to find calm in the chaos, peace amid the noise, and optimism when things feel overwhelming. Jesus says in the Gospel of Matthew, in chapter 11, verse 28, Come to me, all of you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Now, sometimes that might mean literally withdrawing to a quiet place, like Jesus often did in his ministry. Here in school, that could mean stepping into the chapel for a couple of minutes, or finding any spot in your lives to go and be for a moment. Alternatively, this may not be possible, and so it might mean taking a moment just to focus on God, or to reflect, or to pray. In a sense, to take a conscious step in our minds into the heart of what is happening and where God might be in that moment. It's worth remembering the wise phrase that peace does not mean being in a place where there is no noise, trouble, or hard work. It means being in the midst of those things and to still be calm in your hearts. We can try our best to feel things fully, to embrace the messiness and the chaos, and through that, to know that it's our sincere intentions in those moments that matter most. Bless you all.